fun day. Oh, fun. Just fun. Fun day. Now, I had my upper right quadrant. I had a scaling done on it at, uh, at over at Pierce College. And uh, 11 years ago, I had, I had it done at a college in, in Portland, Oregon. And uh, took took a long time, but you know, had had that done, and it really helped. But um, and this seems to be helping in a lot of areas, except this. There's this one here on the back, and it's swollen, and it's giving me a headache, and I feel a little bit fevery. And uh, as soon as I waited long enough after doing this antibacterial rinse thing that they gave me. Um, after I wait long enough for that, it's probably about, I don't know, 10 more minutes, and I'll go take a, 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 an ibuprofen. And hopefully, you know, this isn't going to get worse. And if it does, well, you know. But my God, just, just all the stuff that they have to go through when, you, when you're at those colleges, all the, the extra steps, all the extra confirmations, and it's, it's understandable. But some of the confirmations are things that you'd expect from a doctor's office as far as, oh, they want to know all this stuff about you. And I, I understand, but then they have to reconfirm. And then you have to go to another appointment and then reconfirm. Um, this last time, it was an hour and a half of reconfirming. So, yeah. Um, yeah, my... I, I did that I, a certain way that you can f feel the temperature of the bottom of your tongue in contrast to your lower lip that you kind of know if there's kind of a fever going on I, I seem I, I have that feeling a little bit there so I'm going to check my temperature shortly either way I'm going to take an ibuprofen but And uh, my mother had her eyes, her, one of her eyes, uh, she had a cataract surgery. It's very successful. It's worked out very well. Um, but she's, she's still not really driving yet. She, she will, uh, after the, uh, the surgery on her other eye, um, maybe a week after that, then she'll, she'll probably be able to drive again. But she hasn't been able to drive for a little while because of how bad the cataracts had gotten. But. So, she wanted to go to Kmart, and I don't really like going in Kmart because of how strong the fragrances are there. So, um, so she said, yeah, just drop me off. Okay, cool. And uh, I wanted to get something to not feel queasy. Ever since I had this done, I've just been really queasy. I tried to eat something earlier, almost didn't keep it down. And... So I wanted a guy went to the weed store, but a different one. I went to one that was closer to the Kmart, and uh, this is this. Uh, oh, what's the name of it now? What's it's it's next to what was originally an official liquor store, but then they changed the laws so regular stores can sell hard liquor. Um, uh, near Fred Meyer on Seventy Second and Pacific Avenue, and. I when, when you see it for for what it is it's pathetic but I also very much dislike it I hate it when people are just kind of standing around doing these poses like oh I'm so masculine look at me pose and they'll just kind of form these groups they all they all dress the same they form these groups and let's pose and then act and then purposely is being as intimidating as you can towards anyone that comes near you make fun of any anything about their appearance that you don't like <laughs> that kind of shit fucking just oh my goodness what was the phrase they had it was uh 
So I'm walking up to the store and these these people go, who does this fool think he is? Who, who, who does he think he is? <laughs> I didn't do that laugh. For, <laughs> no, I can't do it. I, I, I did it before, but it's... It sounds like the laugh you'd find on on, on the uh, the crows on Dumbo. And the others kind of join in on this laugh. Yeah, who does he think he is? Who this fool think he is? The fuck. And of course they 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 signal they do all this stuff like what, you gonna come over here and say something about it, huh? Huh? What, what are you gonna do, huh? Huh? So I get into the, uh, I, I finally get to the, I, it, one of the bouncers kind of uh, uh, joined in on the, la on, on the laughing part of that. You know, it, it's, it's, I understand the way that I look is, is weird. That's fine. But when it's approached in that manner, there's nothing I can do or say. There's nothing I can do. Anything that I could, would do they would consider a challenge to their masculinity and they'd be ready for a fight. I'm not ready for a fight over, over some, someone being a jackass. So, but man, all that fucking strike a pose. Look, strike a masculine pose. <laughs> just, you know, just kick their arms back, kick their legs back this certain way against the car and, and they'll just kind of stand there and look at each other. <laughs> My God, and it, oh, 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 oh. Whatever, th that, that, that grouping of those people that I saw, I don't mean all oh, those people, as if it's referring to a race, just people who have that kind of attitude suck you suck by the time I finally got in, into the uh, 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 the place and was trying to order the weed I'm trying to hold my wallet and it's just my hands just going like this and then I'm trying to you know I, I, I was so god damn I hate that I hate that. I probably won't be coming back to that store, even though the customer service I got once I was in there was fantastic. They had a great selection, but I'm probably not coming back. The only times I've ever I've, I've ever really felt threatened to an extreme degree is from people who act like that. It's the only goddamn time I feel threatened in, in that, that kind of regard. I've had rednecks, the, the stereotypical rednecks say shit to me before. And yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not a group of people. I think that's the thing about it. It's a group of people. And when you get these groups of people, you know, all suddenly they're all just much more confrontational. Usually when, when it's been some sort of red, it's been a red, uh, you know, stereotypical, stereotypical redneck. Um, it's been a, an individual, not a group. So that is probably why I, I haven't had the the same kind of fear 
there. That's one thing that worries me a lot about when I about South Carolina. What if I encounter something like that there? A group of people um, with a very threatening tone and posturing. Now, granted, you don't hear about that kind of shit really happening anymore. You obviously did in the past. And I'm sure that on a rare occasion it still does happen today, but you just don't hear much about it. But goddamn, I, I, I was very, I was very helpless at that point. And I like I, I just would try so hard when I was walking back to the, to the vehicle. And, oh yeah, I for the first forget the keys. I get to the to the exit and oh wait, I left my keys. So nervous, so fucking nervous. Sorry for just like staring off into. Just it just affected me so badly. It did. Um, maybe I shouldn't even have talked about it because it kind of resurfaced the way that I felt. I I mean, like, even if I like. If I knew everything about fighting, if I if I would have absolutely no problem taking on almost anyone, right? If if I was that kind of person, that still that still would be just a fucked up situation. I don't know what more to say right now, but it, it, it that really, really affected me badly. And I hope that the... Uh, ibuprofen does something. 